Right, welcome back to the SGGT YouTube channel. Today we're going to be building LET Access Player Penny Brown's Golf Clubs. If you haven't seen her fitting video, please go check it out. It's a great watch. If there's something that you at home would like to see us do in the workshop or learn a little bit more about what we do, please drop us a comment on what you'd like to see. If you haven't subscribed as well, please hit that subscribe button below and put your post notifications so you don't miss another video. With that, let's get into building Penny's clubs. Right, first thing we're gonna do, we are gonna tip Penny shafts to spec. So, we're gonna be SST pure in Penny's clubs. The reason being is during our fitting, when we're working our way through four, six, eight, and wedge, we could see with the shots, there was an improvement in dispersion and consistency. The reason this is, is because the shaft is in the correct position, so the shaft's actually able to move more efficiently through the ball. So whilst we pure penny shafts, we're gonna pre-loft and lie check Penny's heads. So to make sure that we can get everything as exact as possible throughout the build, we pre-loft and lie the heads before we do any sort of cutting. So on to prepping the tips of the shafts. Just gonna take a little bit of the paint off here to help with the glue getting a good bond to the shaft and the head. So now I'm gonna dip the shafts in some acetone. This allows me to slide the ferrules on and bond them to the shaft in the correct position. So as you can see here, I'm now gonna cut the shafts to length via the spec that has been requested. So I'm going to take that over to the cutting machine, line it up and cut away. So now on a swing weight, we're going to adjust the swing weights to match them up to the spec requested. We do this with the little brass tip plates you can see in the top left there. We're now on to arguably the most important stage, gluing. So I've got the two part glue here. We like to use shaft beads because it just helps with getting a better bond within the head to the shaft. So I'm gonna stir that up nice and good. What you'll see me doing in this video here is I'll be putting a little bit of the glue inside the hosel to get some good coverage. I'm then gonna put some onto the tip of the shaft and onto the swing weight. We're then gonna slide them together and clean up the excess. So back when we SST pured penny shafts at the prep stage, the SST Pure Machine leaves a mark on the masking tape you can see on the shafts. So once I've assembled the heads together with the glue, you'll see me orientate the shaft to present the line forward. This is so we know where the stable edge of the shaft is. So we're now onto ferruling. All we're doing here is taking a little layer off of the ferrule. It just allows for a more professional finish. And as you'll see in a second, I'll wipe them down with acetone just to wipe away any leftover residue from gluing and it allows the ferrule to have a nice glossy black finish. So onto the gripping stage, Penny plays one layer with an Iomic Black sticky standard. So we're gonna put one layer on, a little SST sticker so we know where the spine is. We're gonna slip that grip on, give it a little tidy up and we're done. 